What's up, gangsters? It is Saturday morning, and uh, yep, rolling down to uh, New Braunfels, Texas for Bottle Fiesta after a not so great night's sleep because I was too excited and uh, laid awake for a couple hours thinking about the big model show today. And um, yeah, uh, hopefully it'll be good. It's uh, kind of a grody day. I don't know if you can see, it is rainy and foggy and nasty and about 46 degrees, but uh, that's okay because uh, we're gonna let that stop us. That right there, you can't really point, that guy, that's my buddy Marco. Hi everyone. He is, uh, he is my ride or die buddy for the last, what, 30 years? 30 years. Yeah, we yeah. met we met when I was in grad school down at Texas A&M in the early 90s. And we've been to a lot of motorcycle races together and uh, had a lot of adventures. And this is just another one. And uh, I could not make this happen without his assist. So uh, we're going to be there soon. And... Uh, I don't really know how, what, you know, I don't know what the order of business is going to be. I'm looking forward to meeting some of the SMCG guys who are going to be there. Um, you know, I know we got to get signed up. And, uh, I mean, it's when I say that, it sounds kind of like going to the motocross track back in the day. But, uh, anyway, we got to get signed up and uh, get the models put on the tables. And then there's a judges meeting at noon. And, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. So, I'll be back later with more updates. Okay, so here we are in New Braunfels at the convention center. We just are uh, unloading and I am sitting here on my little electric scooter that I rented and yep, already turned on full rabbit mode. My goal is to drain the battery on this thing by the end of the day. And we got a cart with models. So now it's time to go sign up. Okay, so here we are, uh, met Rob Booth. I'm uh, in the sign-up area, just getting all the paperwork done and everybody's been super nice and helpful already. Right. Can I give you a card or do you need cash? Uh, we can do a card. Okay. It takes a minute to work with the janky phone, but it does work. All right. Um, yeah. And who do I pay to make sure I win? <laughs> Uh, nope, then give me a receipt. There, you're not wrong. He's the chief judge. Today is the first one. $16. All right. That's it? $16? It's $10 for the first one and $3 for everyone after that. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Apparently, Tamiya is sponsoring a uh, like a best uh, best Tamiya model award. So, gotta sign up for that. So, my little 148 Spitfire will be in that thing. So, finally, one of the things I've been looking forward to the most out of this entire adventure is finally, after six years, meeting Duke's models himself. Say hi to the say hi to the camera, Matt. <laughs> He's his usual wordy self. Yep, super talkative. Right, right. So, how are uh, how's the how's how's the show so far? Uh, looks pretty good. The uh, vendor room was a lot more crowded than I was anticipating. So. Yeah, yeah. Rob told me that the tables were all sold out. So uh, you got all your stuff on the tables. You're yep. all set to go. All signed up. All ready to go. Right on. Right on. All right. So what's next? I have no idea. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> all right. So I guess the next thing is to take all of our stuff. I gotta go find a place. Do you just go put them in the in the spot for your yeah. category, or do you just put them wherever you want? No, you put them in the. I'll, I'll I'll show you how to do it. Okay. All right. Cool. Matt's gonna be the tour guide. All right. So here we go. Just a quick clip, because uh, we're over here getting all set up. Got the P40 on the world's most ridiculous aircraft stand, and getting a chance to take a look at Mr. McDougal's beautiful intruder. That thing is enormous and lovely, and I'm gonna take some better pictures of it later. And I'm sure he's gonna beat me, because it's awesome. And his P40 right here, also equally beautiful. Lots of really good stuff. I've uh, only had a chance to look around at a little bit of, of the entries so far, but pretty impressive so far. Lots of really nice stuff. 
Okay, so here we are in the judges meeting. This is Mr. Tim Campbell, also an SMCG guy and a good model maker. And you live in Houston, right? Uh, yeah, just and, north of in the woodlands. Right? And how many of these shows have you been coming to? Um, this is my first time at this one. Okay. I usually go to the Houston show with my, my local club show. Okay, and how like does it compare to this one? Is it big, bigger? It's, um, this one seems to be a little bit smaller than the, okay. than, right. than the Houston show. I don't know if that's just this year or other years but the vendor room seems just as busy if not busy and as i'm sure the fans can hear from your suave english accent you're a british transplant right you've lived in, in the yeah, Woodlands i've been for... here uh, 19 years wow and 19 what brought you over years. here originally uh, work i was in oil and gas so okay. uh, i'd worked offshore a long time and this was my chance to get a normal job and, and be home in the evening so. are you an engineer no i'm a geologist okay very cool very which cool. is worse really very cool all right, well, we are about to learn what all the rules are for judging. So, here we go, time for class. Okay, so this is Rob Booth. He runs the whole shebang down here. He's also a national officer. I think he's like the vice president of IP events. And uh, he's the man in command. So, he's gonna tell us all about how the judging thing goes. Thank you very much. Okay, so I've been assigned a judging team. Uh, the uh, judge captain of my team is right there behind me. He's a guy who's a national winner, so he's got lots of experience, and I'm going to learn a lot. But uh, I'm assigned. Our team is doing the uh, four, the even number of blades split of the 148 singles category because it's super crowded. There's like 30 entries total in the category, so they split them up by even number of prop blades and odd number of prop blades. And, my spit's in the, got three blades because it's a Mark One, so it's in the odd number of blades category, so I escape uh, judging my own work. Okay, so you can see behind me here uh, the entire field of 148 scale singles, and it's now two hours after my last clip. Um, yeah, we just got done judging, and this thing has been uh, a real education. It was gnarly. It took my team the entire two hours to go through you can see right here on this side of the table, there were about 12 in our category, and it took us a good solid two hours. And I can see why why this is the most hotly contested category at every one of these shows. The work was overall really pretty good, and it I, I'll, I'll talk more about it later, but it really came down to a lot of minor things and really subtle levels of, of finish and construction. But yeah pretty fascinating process. The other thing that I'm going to show you guys, you can't really see it very well, but right there is a Corsair built by Mark Schlechter, who was my team lead. So if you don't recognize the name, he's a multi-time national winner. Um, he built a beautiful Spitfire a couple of years ago, a beautiful Hawker Sea Fury. He's that guy that does the 148 scale with all the panels open. And now I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a closer look at it, because it is amazing. Okay, so I'm finally getting a quiet moment to show you guys this thing. This is Mark Schachter, um, same guy who built uh, a really beautiful Spitfire and a Hawker Sea Fury a few years ago. And I've been quizzing him about this thing. He put about a thousand hours in this. Um, it takes him about two years of calendar time to finish one of these, but you can see, yeah, that is the list of stuff that he did. And this guy is obviously a master craftsman. He told me he's been building models since he was about four. And you can see, clearly the experience has paid off because it is just phenomenally beautiful. I'm gonna try to get some actual good photographs of it, but I'm pretty sure this guy's about to win best in show and well-deserved. So we have uh, Mr. McDougal here and Gabe Pincelli, also known as Sweeps from now on. We're going to call him <laughs> Sweeps Pincelli because he's, what, six for six, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Outstanding. Not a bad day. Yeah, not a bad day at all. A lot of really beautiful work and uh, just some super cool stuff. So what did you guys think of the show? I like the new venue. Uh, yeah. Better lighting than before, but not still, you know, still not ideal. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, definitely not ideal. If the other place was worse, holy shit! Yeah. Because I, <laughs> for me, is, this is not enough this light. This is a huge improvement. This is huge, huge. Is improvement. it really? Because yeah, I was, venue. I was struggling the whole time. I could not see enough to feel competent as a judge. 
No, I agree. I mean, but I think that's the way bubble shows are. Finding yeah. a good venue with good lighting is... Yeah, I mean, I think the aircraft category is really strong. The armor category seems strangely light, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. as usual for the show, uh, automotive was, was strong. That's that's pretty typical for the How many show. entries do you think they had total? Oh, yeah. like, I'm still guesstimating like 250. Really? I've been saying that they like were Because they were saying they thought it would be five or 600, so you yeah. think it's way less than that. I, I might guess a little higher than that, but... But not still far. seem pretty but, I mean, between Omicron and the really shitty weather this morning, it's like I could see those two things knocking yeah, it down. It's pretty horrible out this morning. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, my arm's tired. So that's the end <laughs> of the interview. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay. So it is 541 and uh, that makes it what, like seven hours since we got down here this morning? Yeah. Yeah, and it feels like it. It feels like 14 hours. I am so tired. I don't even know if I have enough energy to hold the phone up to make this little video clip. <laughs> we are done. We are in the truck. We are headed back to Austin. I'm, I'm smooth wiped out. That was gnarly. It was a good experience. I will have some more thoughts about about the show when I feel capable of being coherent and <laughs> speaking those thoughts somewhat intelligently, but it was a good experience. Uh, you know, I've now seen it firsthand. I've seen the judging paradigm, if you want to call it that, in action. You know, I got to see all, all the work firsthand and I think even though the show was pretty small relative to what it normally would have been, you know, in a non-COVID world, that that there was still, I still got a good cross-section, at, at least of the aircraft modeling. Um, the, the truth, though, is, though, that I just didn't have time to really even go anywhere beyond the little corner of the room where my category was. I barely even got to look at any of the other aircraft categories, and I'm really bummed that I didn't get to see more, that I didn't get to take more pictures. You know, those are definitely lessons learned. Um, it just, the judging ate up literally every second that I had, and um, so, yeah, I feel like this is going to be sort of an incomplete, you know, report because I don't have a set of pictures to go with it, but... It was a good experience, and uh, I'll come back again later when I can think and say more. <laughs>